all members of the Villa Capri Cruisers Car Club. We've been in uh, as, a, as a club for 25 years. And the mainstay of our club is to help and assist children in need. Each year, we run a charity show. We run Father's Day car show. All the proceeds of those events go towards helping children. That's what this club does. And they've been doing it for 25 years. And us four here standing today are just a representative of a membership that totals around 70 to 75 members each and every year. And they all have the same goal. Make a child smile one at a time. I was watching the movie American Graffiti, and I was impressed with the car from the movie. I enjoyed it, and uh, I decided I was going to build it from a bare frame. Wow, wow, okay, so you had to find all the parts. Basically. Yeah, locate them from all over, assemble it, then disassemble it, paint everything, and sent out everything chromed and put it back. This was one of the closest ones to the actual car that he used in the movie. Very cool. And he signed the dash. He signed the dash, yeah. There's his name, Paula Matt Milner. Very cool. That's wow, what they right call him, Milner. My name is Stephanie Longo. I'm a local historian that focuses on our area's Italian American history. Northeastern Pennsylvania is considered one of the nation's prime Italian American locations. We actually have two towns, Dunmore and Old Forge, that have made the United States Census's top 20 list of most Italian communities in the United States. So it's my honor and privilege to get to tell the story of our area's Italian communities. My first book is The Italians of Northeastern Pennsylvania that takes you from the era of immigration in about the 1800s, early 1900s, straight through to about the 1960s. And then we pick up with the present day in the Italians of Lackawanna County. I also have a book called Dunmore that tells a little bit about the history of Dunmore Borough, which is where my family is from. If you're interested in learning anything else about my books, feel free to check out my website. It's www.stephanielongo.net. My name is Ron Muskalczak, and I wrote Scranton Automotive Heritage. And it's about automobiles that were built in the city of Scranton. Nobody knows about automobiles. You say, what was built in Scranton? They say, I know about trains, I know trolleys, I know coal, I know textiles, but I never heard of automobiles. Did a lot of research and put together a book to preserve it for the future generations to learn about automobiles in Scranton. Scranton was a huge industry automotive-wise, and I'm thrilled I was able to put it into writing to save it for future generations. If you're interested in a book, it's $22, that's including tax, and you can email me at maccartrucks at gmail.com, or you can pick it, at, pick it up at the Library Express in the mall, or the Historical Society downtown in Scranton. My name is Shelby Snygar. I am the author of the Running Red series. It starts with the first book, The Dream, and then continues with Whisper. I'm working on getting the third and fourth book out. They're part of our four book series. They're a mixed genre. They contain uh, suspense, mystery. There's a murder in it. A little bit of a uh, supernatural goes on in it. Uh, just a little bit of everything for anyone. I'm Vanessa, Vanessa White Fernandez, and I've organized something called the Hugging Army. And what that is is a group of people that like to offer hugs in the world. I believe in human connection and how important it is. I started offering free hugs three years ago. I've given over 3,000 hugs to strangers. It's been a real blessing. I've also traveled outside of Scranton and done it. Some of the areas on this map, North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, and I've even written a book. And the book is about my adventures traveling last summer for 10 days over 3,000 miles to hug people and talk about it. And it's really a delight. I have a lot of fun. My name is Tom McCormick, and this is... Bob Troutman. 
Uh, we work for a company called Credit Management of Pennsylvania. We are a non-for-profit based out of Dunmore, Pennsylvania, and we host a personal financial workshop series through the libraries. We've now taken that series and we've put it into uh, a new book called Where Do You Go When Your Bank Says No? It shows you student loans, it shows you how the banking system works, it shows you how credit card works, it leads you through buying your first car, it leads you into buying your first house. The information in this book is incredibly valued because you can get through your life with the information in this book and stay ahead of the game and not fall behind into debt like so many people do. Uh, this is being offered through Amazon.com. You can also get a copy of it through our Facebook page, Credit Management of Pennsylvania, and our website, www.cm. Pennsylvania.com. I am Abigail Catherine. I'm the author of the Prophecy Siblings Trilogy and I am here down at the library to sell my books but also show support for the wonderful library that we have in this community. I am selling three of my books, The Siblings of the Prophecy, The Trials of the Journey, and The Fulfillment of Their Destiny, a very gripping trilogy about four siblings and their quest with their people to find freedom and safety in a new land. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter, both Abigail Catherine. Hi, I'm Julie Esty and I am here at Cruising for the Library. And um, I've got some of my local history books for sale. We've got Stories in Stone, which is volume one of the Dunmore Cemetery tour. We've got Murder in Scranton, Volume 2, Stories in Stone, Tales of Life from the Dunmore and Forest Hill Cemetery. And, you know, it's a very nice night here at the library. We're having a great time. Oh, my God.